Hey guys, what's going on? It's Savage Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about Season of Infinity, and will it be a disappointment? Will Season of Infinity actually be a disappointment? Now, we know we're getting four villains, Killer Croc, Mad Hatter, Ra's al Ghul, and Mr. Freeze, and we don't really know what is going to be yet. Now, the Season of Infinity is a huge thing. It's huge. We don't know what's going to happen. Uh, to be honest, I think it will be a disappointment. Now, hear me out before you start saying, All you do is complain, Marcel. All you do is bitch and Listen. Guys, Let them involve. we have been disappointed more than enough times throughout the season pass. Imagine There's only been like ball. two good DLCs that we've gotten. Imagine the Michael so Keaton bat suit with the Michael Imagine Keaton Batmobile so with the maps. And, and then the 1966 Batmobile you skin with the maps. Now, those weren't disappointments. The other ones were besides probably the Batgirl. And even that was a disappointment because A, ruined the continuity. B, Tim Drake was not Robin before Arkham Asylum and there's no evidence pointing towards that ever in the Arkhamverse. Now, the season of Infinity is different, right? Right? I don't think so. I think it's going to be a huge disappointment. I think we're not going to get boss battles. I don't think... Roxas had this plan since the beginning of the freaking game. They've already made this DLC. They don't care about us. Are you serious? What if they made a boss battle that was really, really important in Arkham Knight? Tell me. Tell me. Oh, Jason Todd versus Bat. That's not even a, I mean a fucking boss battle. You crawl up underneath them and grapple. Ooh. My God. It was difficult. No. Oh, the tank battles? Those are boss battles. Those are intense. Best boss battles ever. Guys. The Electrocutioner boss battle from Arkham Origins was more entertaining than any quote-unquote boss battle in Arkham Knight. And I don't know how they went from Mr. Freeze and then took a step back from Arkham City's boss battles and took a step back to Arkham Knight. I don't know how that happened. I don't know why they did that. But Arkham Knight Season of Infinity was already made before the game came out. Look at Caboose's videos. He made a video with links. With links way before we started complaining about, hey, there's no boss battles in this game. What the fuck? We did not even freaking get a chance to complain about the boss battles until that DLC link was after. And literally in that link, it said Season of Infinity. So you know that the Season of Infinity was already made. So you know that they don't care. They've already made the boss, the quote unquote boss battles. They've already made the missions. They don't, it's not going to be anything important. And if it is, I'll take everything back. And I will make an apology video to Rocksteady. But until then, I think that the the Season of Infinity uh, for Batman Arkham Knight will be the hugest disappointment of the year. Considering it is probably going to be the last DLC that we're going to be getting. Now, I don't really really mind if it is going to be a disappointment because I will be anticipating it. I will be not hyping this. I would literally be saying, oh, this is going to suck. This is going to suck. Same thing with the, what is it, the flip of a coin and then Catwoman's Revenge, which is going to be like 10 minutes long. Woo. Boss battles are going to be in the, it's going to be a 10 minute boss battle, guys. Don't even worry about it. Like, come on. G give me a break. Stunning guys in comments below. Do you guys think that the season of 15 is going to be a boss, like a boss battle heavy? Do you guys think it's going to be a disappointment or not? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and Instagram. Those links and names will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.